Hello fellow investors, my name is Lawrence and thank you so much for watching my channel, a channel that talks about investing in stock market and also talks about financial independence. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing such that in case I release another video, you don't miss it. When I was starting to run about investing, one of the challenges that I faced was looking for where you can uh, get information of investing and also how to open an account or trading account. So I, I believe there are some people like you if you haven't opened a trading account that could be facing a similar challenges. That is the reason why I have come up with these three simple steps on how you can open and start investing in stock market. I'm going to first give a scenario of opening a bank account because it is a similar process of opening a, a brokerage account. So in the banking system, if you have an account, there are three steps that you normally follow or you normally uh, go through to open an account. Number one, you have to search for a bank or your preferred bank uh, that will satisfy you according to what you need. So num that is one. Number two, you have to go to the bank and fill uh, it's called uh, know your customer uh, know your customer form uh, where they will of course they will ask you the requirements maybe the id identification the passport photos and other requirements to open an account third is depositing the money such that you maintain your account so in the same way is the way you do to stock market. In the stock market, if you want to start investing in the stock market or you want to start buying shares, there are three steps that you normally follow and I'm going to uh, simplify them one by one such that you understand you also don't get stuck like oh, I got stuck in the beginning so that stock market becomes easy for you. Number one step of how you start to invest in stock market, number one is of course you have to search for a broker. Uh, for example, if you're in any country that has a stock exchange, you can go, you can visit the stock exchange website uh, using uh, search engines depending on which search engines are there in your country. You can use Google, you can use Yahoo and other means or if you know their offices, if you live maybe in places where the, the offices of um, stock exchange are, you can visit them and also ask the information of the brokers because brokers are listed or they are displayed on the exchange's website or any information uh, fact sheet of the national exchange or any exchange that is, exists in that country. That is number one. Let us say you have found your preferred exchange. Number two, of course, is going to their offices and uh, opening an account. So if, if you have gotten a broker, that broker will assist you to open a brokerage account or what they call trading account. Uh, so while you're in that process of opening an account, there are three or two, four requirements they will have to ask you. Number one is identification card. It can be national ident identification, it can be driving permit, it can also be passport, depending on what th that the broker will need, but it is one of the, those three. Second requirement that uh, the broker will need is a financial statement or bank statement. Number three, they are passport sized photographs, mainly two or three. Those are the mandatory things that they will ask you. There are other things that they may ask you in addition to that. They might ask you the TIN, uh, tax identification number in some countries. Some countries they don't ask for it, so you need to ask uh, before you go uh, whether they will ask that or not. Some of them they will even ask you the bill to confirm your location where you stay. But uh, like for me when I was uh, opening it they didn't ask, but some countries they will ask. So that is step number two. Number three, uh, after finishing to open an account or brokerage account, 
you will need to deposit certain amount of money as i said in many exchanges or on many exchanges there is no minimum amount that you need to deposit so any amount that you have is enough to be deposited on that trading account so let's say you have finished opening account you have deposited then you are ready to start trading before you start trading also there are some basics that you need to know before trading because i've seen most of the people who don't do their research who don't ask questions they are the ones who lose in the stock market and at the end of the day they blame uh, others maybe they blame uh, condition that uh, they are losing yet they do not do a basic research and at the end of the day they will discourage other prospective investors not to invest because they lost so number one if you want uh, to benefit from stock market you can use the services of broker to consult because i believe if you talk to your broker he will give you depending on your plan whether you're long-term investor whether you're dividend investor whether you're growth investor depending on what information you will give him he can decide for you some of them of course they give the advice which uh, companies you can buy i don't support that idea of uh, completely accepting any advice that they give you but when you're still new in the stock market it's good that you uh, some of them uh you accept some of them when you start investing in the stock market that's when you become serious about running how the stock market works so after running uh the basics of stock market uh and also the companies you can invest in actually there are some simple uh tips on how you can know uh companies you can invest in for example most of the companies that i've seen they are the companies that give us services for example globally uh if you uh you you can like the youtube i'm using it's owned by google so google is also listed on uh in america on new york stock exchange uh if you talk of uh facebook if you talk of amazon any other big company you know of they are listed on stock market you can buy them if you follow the steps of uh, if your country can allow or if you can uh, open an international brokerage account you can buy such kind of uh, big companies like in Europe area for example in east africa where I, uh, I come from you can buy safaricom which is in kenya you know you know it's a telecom company uh, there are some banking stocks that you can buy so you can start from where uh, you live uh, which companies provide you services if they provide you uh, power services if they provide you consumer goods if they provide you banking services so you can start from there to identify which companies you can buy that is the best way actually of identifying which companies are good for example if the company does not provide best services in terms of uh, maybe they provide you with the food stuffs they provide you with the fuel and their items are not of good quality it means also their stocks are not of good quality because people will not be buying them they will not be making profits so that's how you can identify uh, the uh, the good stocks before you go to fundamentals so the first important thing after opening a brokerage account is to at least invest in the stock market such that the more you invest in stock market the more you get an interest because you know you have your money you don't want to lose your money you will develop a lot of interest to run because you don't want to lose your money because that was because me by the time i traded i was starting to invest in stock market i didn't know much like i know now but we after uh after investing in stock market i develop that courage to run more and also uh, read more such that i can know how the stock market works so also 
if you haven't uh, invested go and put if you're not very sure of how stock market works at least put some little money that you're not even bothered about even if you lose it such that the moment you start investing you will get that morale you will get the courage to start investing so that those were my three steps simple steps that you can uh, follow to start investing in stock market thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed please do not forget to subscribe such that in case i release another video you will be able to be notified thank you for watching once again have a good day Bye-bye.